Fluoroscopy is an imaging technique that uses X-rays to obtain real-time moving images of the interior of an object. In its primary application of medical imaging, a fluoroscope allows a physician to see the internal structure and function of a patient, so that the pumping action of the heart or the motion of swallowing, for example, can be watched. Fluoroscopy was discovered on November 8, 1895, by a physicist named Wilhelm Röntgen. After a few months, the first fluoroscope was created. The early fluoroscope was simply just a cardboard funnel, open at the narrow ends, for the observer's eyes, and the other end was covered with fluorescent metal salt. However, the early fluoroscope image was very faint. In its simplest form, a fluoroscope consists of an X-ray source and a fluorescent screen, between which a patient is placed. However, since the 1950s most fluoroscopes have included X-ray image intensifiers and cameras as well, to improve the image's visibility and make it available on a remote display screen. Visible light can be seen by the net eye, but it does not penetrate most objects, only translucent ones. In contrast, X-rays can penetrate a wider variety of objects, such as the human body, but they are invisible to the naked eye. To take advantage of the penetration for image forming purposes, one must somehow convert the X-rays intensity variations, which correspond to material contrast and thus image contrast into a form that is visible. Classic fluoroscopy achieves it by fluorescence, in which certain materials convert X-ray energy, or other parts of the spectrum, into visible light. This use of fluorescent materials to make a viewing scope, is how fluoroscopy got its name. At the bottom of a fluoroscope there is the X-ray tube, that in this machine is made of glass and sometimes metal, and has a vacuum seal inside. The machine creates X-rays by converting electricity from its line, that supplies power, because of that called power line. The power line has a current of 120-480 volts, however to use it in the X-rays, the current is converted into 25-150 kV range. Then it creates a stream of electrodes, that are shot against a tungsten target. When the electrons hit this target the electrons stop, because of its surface. The result is a release of X-rays energy, then the energy is focused by the X-rays tube into an area of the body to be imagined. The electromagnetic waves can pass through the body and create images of internal structures. As the X-rays pass through the patient, they are attenuated by varying amounts as they pass through or reflect off the different tissues of the body casting an X-ray shadow of the radiopaque tissues, such as bone tissue, on the fluorescent. Images on the screen are produced as the unattenuated or mildly attenuated X-rays from radiolucent tissues interact with atoms in the screen through the photoelectric effect, giving their energy to the electrons. While much of the energy given to the electrons is dissipated as heat, a fraction of it is given off as visible light. Nowadays for this last is used an image intensifier. In this machine the incident X-rays first impinge upon a phosphor screen which gives off light. This light is then absorbed in a photocathode which gives off electrons. The electrons are accelerated in a vacuum with the help of high potentials and acquire great speed and energy. The electrons are focused, with the help of magnets, onto a small, secondary phosphor where light is given off. This process yields an amplified light signal of the secondary phosphor. The secondary phosphor light image is captured with a video camera and the video signal is presented on a monitor. The fluoroscope produces a little higher radiation than regular X-rays. If the patient is pregnant or they think they might be, they must let the doctor know. Fluoroscopy is used in many types of exams and procedures including Inbarium X-rays, 
Fluoroscopy used alone allows the healthcare provider to see the movement of the intestines as the barium moves through them. In cardiac catheterization, fluoroscopy is used to help the healthcare provider see the flow of blood through the coronary arteries to check for arterial blockages. During clinical electrophysiologic procedures, fluoroscopy is used to, to treat patients with arrhythmias. Arthrography X-ray to view a joint or joints. For catheter insertion, fluoroscopy is used to guide the catheter into a specific location inside the body. Hysterosalpingogram. X-ray of the uterus and fallopian tubes. Orthopedic surgery to guide fracture reduction and the placement of metalwork. Angiography of the leg, heart and cerebral vessels.